have got to lose a tooth. Come on, teeth, move! Wobble! Stupid teeth won't budge. It's like they're super glued to my gums. Everyone knows the more sweets you eat, the quicker your teeth rot. <laughs> Henry. No, because it always gets stuck in my teeth. So I reckon a tooth could get stuck in it. Ah, oh, clever. Well, is it working? I can't open my mouth. Help me! What? Oh, help you. Of course. Ah. Aha! But I won't lie to you. That's my toffee. I threw it at you, and I deserve a punch in the mouth. Don't I? I don't know. Well, think about it. Don't you think chucking confectionery at you shows a certain lack of respect? I don't know. Take my word for it, it does. And if you were to punch me in the mouth and knock my tooth out, I wouldn't even mind, I swear! I don't know. <gasps> ah! Did that work? No. Brilliant save, though. One tooth! That's all I need! It's so easy being me. I'm Well, if you promise to eat everything... Yippee! Pat Lunchroom, here I come! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're one of us now, Henry! <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You have given us a perfect demonstration as to why this lunchroom is out of control. <laughs> you all know Greta from the cafeteria. She is now in charge of the lunchroom. Her assignment is to keep order. And she will monitor your lunchboxes to make sure you're eating everything up. Right. Everyone return to your seats, open your lunchboxes and eat. I'm not letting the demon dinner lady spoil my fun. Hey, that's mine. Not anymore. It's confiscated. You ate my muffin. Yes, I did. Huh? <laughs> no treats allowed. It's really not fair. She can't eat our food, can she? What can we do about it? Tomorrow is another day. Give me a treat now. <laughs> Rubber. At 
least there's one place I'm safe from greasy Greta. Oh! Um, I, oh. What? Treats? Doesn't anybody have any treats? It's so easy being me. I'm Henry, help your mother, please. Really? I'm getting one too! And a boom boom basher! Me too! And that's just from Mother. Santa's bringing the rest. If he has any room after all mine! Boys, why don't you go outside and uh, see who can build the biggest snowman? Huh? What? Look! Mine's bigger than yours already! I want to play. Finished! That's not a snowman. Yes, snowmen don't have wings. <gasps> now it looks more like a snowman. Hey! He's my brother! Oh, but thanks, Henry. So I get to break it! <laughs> Mine's the biggest! Mine's the biggest! Mine's the, the biggest! biggest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. I'm more trapped than you are! No! I'm more trapped! Mama! <laughs> oh, Peter, that is pretty. I knitted it myself. I had to have mine specially made. It's so easy being me! I'm What a great day! Soggy Sid had to cancel the lesson because nobody had their swimming costumes. <laughs> Ralph, you're really pathetic. Oh, yeah? Well, this will really scare you. The school rang my mum. We've got an extra swimming lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow? And we're doing our badges. <laughs> Five point three. Five point five. Ten past eight, Henry. Time for school. Swimming today. <sighs> Keep this to yourself, Andrew. A shark just escaped from the aquarium. <gasps> A shark? Yes! A super intelligent mutant shark! And it's headed this way! So stay alert! Oh! Henry says there might be a sh sh shark in our pool! Sharks are saltwater creatures. They don't like chlorine. I don't like chlorine, but I still swim in it. Hmm, good point. <laughs> 
that's not even as good as the werewolf. I'm just warming up. <laughs> I'm going for my 1,000 metres today. <laughs> right, you lot. Get in the pool. Henry, don't tell me. Sorry, sir. I, I can't swim today because... Enough excuses, Henry, you horrible child. I don't care if you've got a slight touch of leprosy or bubonic plague. You're swimming today. Get changed now. I'd love to, sir, but uh, unfortunately I've forgotten my trunks. Spare costumes. Put one on. I can't wear any of these. I won't! Get changed. I've got to swim five whole metres without drowning. Henry? Henry! <laughs> He's a scaredy cat, sir. He's scared of the water. Of course I'm not scared. I... I love the water. Watch this. <laughs> Henry, swim! Do you really want to be the only one in the class who hasn't got his five metre bag? It's so easy being me. I'm Well, I'm telling you, you'll be sorry. <laughs> we should have listened to Henry. <laughs> Who'd have thought man-eating chickens would eat our darling Henry? I'll never eat an omelette again. <laughs> Henry! In! No, I live in the city. I'm not going. Come back here. Now, do your seatbelt up and try to behave. Let's go, Henry. You can't make me. Fine. But each step I take is 5p off your pocket money until you catch up. 5p off, 10p off, 15p off, 20p off. Oh, I'm missing a rapper's up a marathon for this? <laughs> Smell as manure. Couldn't you wait, Peter? No! Henry called me smelly! Don't be horrid, Henry. Come on, Henry. Why don't you help Peter find something for his nature project? Right! Um, but that's a wasp's nest. They sting you, don't they? Uh, not if you sing to them. No one else will have one. You'll get top marks. Easy. Oh. Sing, Peter! Sing! Sonne la matina, sonne la matina. Peter, come away from that wasp's nest. It's all right, Dad. I'm singing to them. Henry said they won't sting. Sonne la matina. Peter, stop! Of course they'll sting. Come down now. It's so easy being me. Come on. For you, Margaret. I don't like sprouts, and I like my corn off the cob. Fine, give it to me. And put the corn on a separate plate. I don't like vegetables touching my meat. Yeah, and put more 
Margaret in a separate room. I don't like looking at her. Oh. Ouch! Henry kicked me! No, I didn't! Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. When I'm king, I'll show Moody Margaret who's... who's... king! Henry, stop playing with your food. <gasps> Henry? You've already lost your pocket money for one month, Henry. We can make it two if you don't start behaving now. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Bunny. Oh, yuck! <laughs> Margaret! Ah, get it all! Margaret did this, Peter. Why don't you tell Mum and get Margaret into trouble for a change? Tell my guest. I couldn't. It's bad manners. Bad manners? You're a wormy worm. She's in there snooping through all my stuff. You Rika! That's it! Yes! Margaret is our guest. If she wants to snoop, then it's my duty to make it easier for her. Tomorrow is going to be the return of Henry. <laughs> What? Stop it! Stop it at once! Oh, for goodness sake, it's six o'clock in the morning. I always wake up at six o'clock and I always practice before breakfast. Fine. Then let's go downstairs and I'll make you breakfast right now. All clear. Operation Bye Bye Margaret is a go! Ugh! Girl stuff! In my room! straight. I like getting. I hate giving. But for some things, I'm willing to make an exception. You're not going to give away the walkie-talkie, burpy, slurpy, teasy-weezy doll that Great Aunt Greta gave you for Christmas? Mum, Great Aunt Greta thinks I'm a girl. And this one is for my darling niece, Henrietta. It's Henry Aunt Greta. I'm a boy. Eh? No, it's not a toy, Henrietta. <laughs> it's a doll? What am I going to do with a doll? Thank you, I'll leave it. Thank you, Henry. Now, I don't want either of you to go in the living room for a while. I've got to work out the treasure map for the pirate prize. You're doing the treasure map? Here? Well, somebody has to. She's doing the treasure map here, in our house! You freak up! That's it! That double drencher is mine! Mission accomplished! Boys, you'll have to keep an eye on each other. Your father and I are helping with the games. Huh? Oh, what shall we do first? 
get lost, Worm. I have to buy my ticket before anyone else gets my number. I'll just keep an eye on myself, then. Where's the pirate prize booth? Other side of this tent, I think. Want a bite? Yeah, thanks. Oi, come back! Bert, huh? stop him! to be the next to play. Ah, oh, Henry, you're an eager volunteer. No, I can't. I, I have to get to. Don't be shy now. Just do your best. It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, poor Henry. Oh, oh well, I expect you'll oh, live. Uh, uh, I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh, oh dear. Oh. I hope they won't need to operate. Oh. Operate? <laughs> <laughs> We both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. <laughs> Peter, your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! It's a bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible. Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy, gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy, gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm. Are you sure you won't have one? <sighs> Taking places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I am... Um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start.